So, hi, it's me, Denny Daniel of the Museum of Interesting Things. We're doing the first box opening of the uh, the totally 80s secret speakeasy. So you guys go over, grab scissors, and grab a package, and open it up, and then come over to me when you're ready uh, with a package. Uh, Rochelle, you're here? Oh, good. I know you're done because you're And hurry, we don't have that much more footage. <laughs> Step right up, Laura. Go ahead. Go ahead. Don't be shy. Someone, everyone stand away from the table so that way they can get to the table. Uh -huh. And then take whatever. Nobody's going to open up this cool. I, I was doing the thing. Excellent. Okay. This is cool. Let's see where that one's down. No, I'm keeping the whole package in for this one because I love this one. <laughs> they, they decorate them with special stamps because they know I teach in the museum and I've decided that I'm going to do a show where we feature all the cool decorations and cool stamps. So people are mailing. Some guy mailed the actual moon landing stamp from 1969. Oh my god, that thing's worth and a lot. Right? I know, and the guy who opened up the packages saw that he put like 10 antique stamps that went as far back as 1902. He had like the George Washington stamps and everything. And the guy was a stamp collector who did the unboxing and he goes, oh my God, these stamps are worth a lot of money. This oh. man used them as postage. Out of his mind? It's like, this is a $50, like, oh, it, like it, was, it was a it's lot of money. He had like the moon land, he, he had several moon fan. landings. He was a big fan, yeah. you know? And a lot of times these guys just from like the internet or eBay, will mail me gifts and mail me like antique, st you know, extra stuff. And I'm like, you just lost money on the sale. But they're just, they love what we do and they love the idea that we're like bringing history to life. It's the universe so, provides. What? The universe provides. Yeah. We were just talking yeah, about that. Creating so, your own reality. Because you're projecting what it is. Like, sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, exactly. this is a very, very special one that I'm going to open. Wow. Excellent. And, oh, so you opened one already? Excellent, good. So let me see Rochelle come on over here. So Rochelle opened up two films, and this guy never writes down what the films are. Did he this time? No, he didn't because it's pain in the butt. So, but these are two films, 16 millimeter films, that we will show here. One is, oh, this is an important Charlie Chaplin one, Stolen Umbrella which is a very rare early Chaplin. So that's a very cool one, the Stolen Umbrella. And then this one, the other one here, is Old MacDonald, um, uh, like from the Eaton Brothers. So it's one of these soundies that's completely cheesy and ridiculous. So that's gonna be a really fun one. Um, so thanks, Rochelle, that's a good one. And I'll put that over there for you. And then step right up. Oh my God. <laughs> Flora, you're gonna be so happy. So Oh guys, right down so that everyone can hear. So, oh Flora opened up one of the coolest 80s. Does anyone remember um, Hazy Fantasy? Spelled com yeah, completely spelled crazy. And they had a song called Shiny, 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 Shiny. shiny, shiny. And someone opened up Flora, who's obviously shiny. <laughs> so you dress the part for this. I think the right person to open this is Flora, who is actually a, a friend or relative of, of a friend. Mo might as well be a relative. Might, yeah, might as well be. She's like sister. Yeah. So, uh, and Flora just got to New York and opened up probably the coolest record in the world. This is from like, I think it came out in like early 80s, 81, yeah. give or take. Mm -hmm. uh, this yeah. is amazing. I love this yeah, song. Really that is so cool. Sure. So put that over there and then step right up. That's a cool okay. one. Oh my God. I wrestled with God. <laughs> so this is x <laughs> okay. who's nice who's DJ at CBGB's <laughs> nice. Limelight and also part of her resume, she wrestled with God. <laughs> this is the most important part of your resume now. Is, uh, is Neville how, on there? I think Neville is now off. He probably, okay. yeah, he had to wake up early for work. Uh, but we're going to be doing uh, January 2nd, we're debuting our Ridiculous Records show. 
and I have the world's craziest, ridiculous record collection. So uh, this is definitely going to be one of them. Awesome. <laughs> the rest of God. Uh, what was that that old play? Um, your arms too short to box with God. I should like yeah, juxtapose them. So step right up. What you got there? Yeah. What's your name? Uh, Ariel. Ariel opened yeah. up. Um, Detective yeah, magazine. Like two, yeah, and there's two of them because we have a spy versus spy. Oh no, this I didn't buy. This is a donation. Oh, is that right? Yeah, this is the guy gave him. That's really that was really sweet of him, uh, him or her. Uh, but this is the detective magazine I bought, French Page Detective, and they're all from like uh, the turn of the last century. Yeah, these are funny. Cool. Let me kill you, darling. Oh, God. <laughs> That's great. That is. So, yeah, uh, I hope you don't have a date tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so, step right up. What did I just do with my phone? I'm and what's your name again? I'm Judy again. Julie. Judy. So, uh, she, what? Judy. Judy. So, oh, that's right. Yes, of course. I do. Um, they, they, I think, gave me an extra one. This is amazing. So, this is Ragtime Piano Gal. Um, but the record that I bought is this one, which is Lawrence Welk's Ragtime Gal, Joe and. This is interesting because I don't even remember buying this. I don't remember getting this. Let me see what it says it's supposed to be. Okay, so this is supposed to be a Canary training record. It is not, but I bet you inside it is. Yes, it is! <laughs> so it's a special surprise. All right, uh, Jessica, are you in the room? Jessica Lucci, who is an amazing writer uh, and has a parakeet. <laughs> so I've been getting all these great parakeet records because of her, and it's part of our Ridiculous Records show. So this is training your parakeet, and even the record label is crazy cool. Oh my god. <laughs> how to train birds, how to talk. Yeah, how to train. Do you have a bird? No, but no. I've never heard of a training record for a parakeet. <laughs> yeah, this is a training record yeah, for them to, to, to like... Speak, talk, whatever you're training them to do. So put that together in there, oh, make right. sure it doesn't fall, mm -hmm. and then put it over so there yeah. or over there on the. Uh, was in here too, uh, right? Yeah, this is this was what protected it apparently. Right. That's oh, why they put those in there. So step right up. And what's your name? <laughs> I'm Howard. Howard. Sorry. And uh, you have three so, records. In so there's three records in here. Uh, uh, let's see which ones did I put a? Well, I don't need that. You hold the box. Um, okay, so. I did, there's a Tommy Boy, which isn't what I got again. <laughs> so it, obviously it's something else. Oh, okay. oh no, I, they just gave me this. There's no way they, uh, I, it's the record. Inform, this is INSOC, Information Society. Oh, I love and them. the irony is that uh, my friends knew them. Um, one of the members is a chef, and my ex-girlfriend's uh, husband, uh, he was a chef with one of the members of INSOC, Information Society, out in Minnesota. Oh, wow. um, and then another friend of mine also dated the singer, who used to run around on rollerblades everywhere he went, and she drove her crazy. <laughs> um, but that's really interesting that they gave me that, that, and I'm connected to that band in several ways. Uh, then he made the mistake of putting all his stuff on top of the record. Uh, so let's get rid of that and get rid of all this craziness. It's like all of his promo stuff. Let's get rid of that and get rid of that. Uh, oh, it's like right on top of it. <laughs> okay, so we'll take it out. So this is one of the coolest of the ridiculous records. Flying missiles and atomic bombs and the second coming of Jesus Christ. <laughs> as told by, as preached by the evangelist, you're not going to believe it. Jimmy Swaggart. Oh, God. How cool is that? Excellent. Yeah, that has got to be the funniest so a, thing in Swaggart the world. Oh my Flying God. missiles, atomic bombs, <laughs> and the <laughs> second coming of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Clearly, all that is connected in some way. Um, and then, um, I don't know if this is the one I bought. No, this is just another. So this is another giveaway. The guy just gave me this. Like they were known to, like House? They were known to say like, oh, so uh, this is Christmas organs, organ and chimes. That's really amazing oh, that these nice. people are just Stuff being like so that. sweet. Really so that's <laughs> very cool. Yeah, so put that one over there. Yeah. And then let's see what we got over here. So, oh, you're supposed to open this. <laughs> Why don't you open that uh, with your scissors? And then I'm going to do uh, this one, which, Jessica, are you still here? Yes, Jessica is still here. Um, 
and they had a huge dog house and their dogs. Last week I was here. Their dogs were like living in So this one is another one I got because of you, Jessica, and your bird. So you, uh, your bird and you have been populating this museum for like months. Uh, so this is another one that is a, you guys ready, ready for this? This is the parrot trade, parrot trading record. <laughs> Parakeet training record. How cool is that? And let's see the actual label again. Again, it's a very, very cool label. So Jessica, that's because of you. We added this to the, uh, to the Ridiculous Records show, and I'll put that over there. And then, oh my God, <laughs> this is great. So Rochelle opened up an another of our mood rings. We have so many, I'm very moody. I've got like five of these now. <laughs> so uh, let's see, Jessica, what mood are you in? Uh, you're in funky, right? Yes. <laughs> So ironically, we're going to be playing a track right now because of uh, because of Rochelle. Why did I say Jessica? Because I'm thinking of Jessica with the parakeets. That's why. Um, so Rochelle opened up the mood ring, and we're going to be playing uh, the next. Wait, did we open that one? No, that one has to be opened. That is a record. So who's going to help me with this one? The DJ. Oh, no, that was, uh, I put that back because it looked like I couldn't open it. Oh, you couldn't open it? Oh, this is oh well, here. I'll do the I'll do the craziness so that way it's quicker. And hold on, we're doing the craziness on camera. Keep the blade far from me. All right. I don't want to do that. As you can tell, I've done this before. So you opened it a lot faster than I did. Yes, that's why I was like, I'll do the opening and you do I'll do the cutting and you do the opening. All right. Excellent. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. He touched me. He touched Whoa. me. And it's a religious record, right? With this finger, he touched her. And are you calling oh. the cops? Uh, <laughs> it's the Me Too movement all yeah, over again right here at the museum. <laughs> it's the Me Too record. Here we go, here we go. This is the video evidence. That's it. I'm doomed now. I'm, 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 I touched her. Yeah, and that. That so again with our uh, ridiculous records show. He touched. I was like, this is too funny not to get. Uh, that is hilarious. Gene Horton. <laughs> yeah, even the name is. Is that funny. like the Reverend Horton Heat? I know. You think? <laughs> that is really. What, that's going to be one of the best of the ridiculous records. And it came in something that's basically. Uh, they put it in like a pizza box. <laughs> so no less, it came in what basically is a pizza box. So yeah, this guy, we're so keeping this box as part of, oh, put that together with the box so I know because it's just too funny not to do. Uh -huh. All right, so that is the, we have, we'll save the other two for next time. Uh, that is the Ridiculous Records Speakeasy box opening. Bye, well, well, you guys stay, because I'm just going to click.